You are with the Break and Leggers and we are in London on the South Bank at the National Theatre. We're visiting the Littleton space tonight to see Ugly Lies the Bone, a new play by Lindsay Ferentino. So stay tuned to find out how many legs. Whether it's break a leg or leg it. <laughs> know about Ugly Lies the Bone? No, Ugly Lies the Bone is being directed by Indu Rue Basingham. Indu recently directed here at the Littleton Space at the National, The Motherfucker with the Hat, which we saw a couple of years ago and really enjoyed. It so, was great. Yeah, it was great. So we need to be really interesting to see what she can do with this brand new script. It also stars Kate Fleetwood. Kate Fleetwood is a bit of a stalwart of theatre. She has done some TV and films as well. She recently did Medea playing the lead part at the Almeida, and now she's here with this in the lead role as well. And also Ralph Little, what uh, Ralph Little most famously known for? Two pints of lager and a packet of crisps. And Anthony in the royal family, of course. And Chris Marshall from My Family. And also Love Actually, which is getting a bit of a sequel at Comic Relief. So maybe he'll pop up in that. Ugly Lies of Bone is 90 minutes straight through, so only one act. So we should be back with you shortly to tell you what we think. So we've come to the end of Ugly Lies the Bone at the Littleton Space National Theatre. How did you find that? For me, I found it a lot of style over substance, really. Um, a bit like recently when we saw The Red Barn here, where it was absolutely all in the production. Very, very little um, drama or very little going on in the script. I felt much the same about this. Um, the show looked great, but I didn't feel anything. How about you? Yeah, I agree. I think uh, this show is all about the production. The set is great. It's kind of like an overview of a town landscape stretched up into the sky. So if you imagine the scene from um, the movie Inception, where the whole kind of um, landscape stretches up in front of them, that's kind of what the set is. And to see that visually was great. And the use of projection to amplify that was kind of where the piece began and end did. There wasn't much more beyond that. <laughs> yeah, fantastic design by S. Devlin and video design by Luke Halls. Absolutely did the best they absolutely could. I feel that Indu Rube Singham's direction wasn't the problem here. Uh, some of the performances were really nice. Kate Fleetwood as um, Jess is never off stage. She is a lot of pressure on her. But fantastic performance I really enjoyed as Stevie played by Ralph Little felt he stepped away from that kind of sitcom. There was nothing sitcom about his performance, and that's what he's basically mainly known for. So it's been a great part for him. But overall, just didn't feel the piece. The script lacked any sort of pull for me, and lacked a lot of drive as well. The technology in the show is actually showcased here at the National in an exhibition. Following the show, you're invited to use some of the virtual reality that is featured within the show. So that's quite interesting. Do you want to sum up what the show is actually about? Yeah, so the main character is a uh, war veteran. She's been out on three tours, and on her third tour, she's been obviously um, the victim of an IED, which is an incendiary explosive device. Yes. Um, and as a result, she's badly wounded. She spent, I think it says, 14 months in uh, Texas, kind of trying to get her life back, but she's badly wounded. Um, she's got hair missing. She's got, like, real disfiguring injuries that she's having to deal with. And that's what it's about. And it kind of talks about the technology that is available to deal with burns victims or victims of horrific traumatic events. It's a rehabilitation story. It's about using technology to rehabilitate somebody back into life as a civilian from a war zone and as a rehabilitation tool to overcome pain, which is a really interesting concept and has a lot of scientific merit. So from, which we got to try out. Yeah, from that so, point of view, that was interesting. Unfortunately, the, what it's housed in, for me as a script, didn't work. No. So, I bet you're wondering how many legs are we going to give Ugly Lies the Bone here at the National Theatre? So, for Ugly Lies the Bone at the National Theatre, we are going to give... Two! Two, two legs. legs. Two legs for Ugly Lies the Bone. Interesting theme, some scientific merit, but unfortunately the script really doesn't do much to carry them. The performances are lovely and the production is great, but it's mainly throwing glitter on a shoddy script. Yes. 
Tell us what you think. Like, subscribe, leave your comments below. What have we got coming up next? We are seeing Hamlet at the Almeida soon, and that is something that we're both very much looking forward to. And Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, starring Imelda Staunton at the Harold Pinter. So hopefully, we'll see you again soon. Bye! So, what do we know about this piece? So this piece is being directed by Indu... What do we know about Ugly Lies the Bone? So, Ugly Lies the Bone is being directed by Indu... What do we know about Ugly Lies the Bone? So, Ugly Lies the Bone is being directed by Indu... I can't remember her name.